You're tuning in to Pastar Prime, a show powered by Squad Locker. Here are your hosts, retired Astros minor league star Tip Fairchild and former Patriots All Pro Center Dan Copen. I was saying Henry for a while. I was. I said Henry the whole time. I was like Henry. It just spelled with an I at the end. Still, just like Tracy. Yeah. yeah. What the hell? <laughs> All right, here we go. Episode 37. Tip is back in the office. We're here. Is this day one in the office for you? And we're coming we off came of... Came in and uh, grabbed our charger the other day. That's it. I've been, I've been non-contagious for I hope 22, so. for, for 13 days. I hope so. Yeah. Because we're, we're, we're... Yeah, still low feet. energy. Energy's still you, low. You suck it up. I know you've been telling me that, but... I have. I, I'm, I'm tired of hearing talk it. Talk to your buddy Paul, too. He's tired. I don't care. We're both time. Tell him, suck it up too. <laughs> okay. That's it. Well, I'm sucking it's it up. I'm right here. I'm ready to go. We're there kicking you go. ass in sales. We that's happening. Powered by Squad Locker. Powered by Squad Locker. Um, yep. Obviously, with uh, COVID and everything going on, now we have this the hurricane or supposed hurricane. How do we that, say the name? I was saying Henry, and me too. I'm sure Max will keep that in in the beginning. Uh, uh, Henri. 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 Why? Why is it Henri? Why can't it just be Henry? It's it's also like um, the uneventful Jesus and and Jesus, right? Yeah, is those the two words? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there they are. Is there another one? George and Jorge. Yeah, tomato, tomato. Yeah. Okay. You want to just go? <laughs> yeah, let's call the whole thing <laughs> George off. and George and what? <laughs> George and Jorge. Jorge. <laughs> okay. Jorge. It was Henri. Henri. Okay. Want, next time they name a hurricane George, I'm going to call it Jorge. Isn't Jorge <laughs> that would be great? But isn't it Jorge? Oh, is, do opposite. Isn't Jorge though J O R G E? Can be either. I think sometimes I think it can be either. Sometimes I think George can also be J too. Wow, J E O R G E. That just doesn't no, sound right or terrible. look right in my mind. Jorge, yeah. Henri, Henri, George, Henri came through. I called Henri, you, Henri. Good friend, a good friend I am, by the way. I called you. You did. In my, yeah. my <laughs> I, did. I would have gone and done that, but I the know way. that was very nice yeah. of you to offer. I was not home. I was at a hockey tournament um, with my son this weekend, and you did offer. Mm-hmm. Um, I did send that text to my wife, and she, she was not happy about going outside uh, yeah. to clean up the furniture, which, by the way, we probably did not need to do where we were. Yeah. There were some high winds. South of us, Narragansett, Narragansett Westerly, Block Island, yeah. uh, Montauk got some, Long Island. Just missed us. But Just missed the, uh, probably from like South County kind of got it, right? Yeah. But then above that, A little bit, but it was it winds nuts. and it was power outages, some yeah. trees down, limbs down. Um, so it could have been worse. Uh, you know, Thankfully, mm-hmm. a lot of people pulled the boats out of the water. I don't know if they needed to because, and this is what- Max is already This sunk, is what so. drives me nuts. <laughs> yeah. I'm driving home from the hockey tournament. I'm driving home from Boston. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Mm-hmm. You're just saying it's going to hit at like 2. So I'm listening to the weather channel yep. the whole way down, like an hour and a half ride. 20 minutes, it's going to hit in 1 o'clock. It's going to hit 20 minutes or whatever. At some point, it's like, okay, now it's now we're on an upper level low. Mm-hmm. It's shifting, but... When left. Yeah, left, west, doesn't, doesn't oh, yeah. freaking west, matter. Yes, this is a better way to but, say it. Yeah. So now we're on an upper level low. It's shifting. It's not going to be as bad for the spots it was supposed to hit, which is a good thing. Mm-hmm. But now we're going to get rain for till Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I'm not even shitting you. We, I listened to this thing for an hour and a half now. I know basically what an upper level low is. My kid's sitting in the back, what's an upper level low? I was like, no, just listen with me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's learn together. I think meteorologists just tell you shit so you listen yeah. for another hour or two. I because none of the things that here. they said, I'm not saying they're not smart. I'm mm-hmm. not saying they don't know the weather patterns and how to do the instruments and read and predict mm-hmm. and forecast, although they don't forecast very well. We did not get anything where I was. And we were supposed to get 50, 60 mile an hour winds. It was then supposed to rain till Tuesday. I swear to God, at five o'clock that day, on Sunday, it was like sunny out and no rain whatsoever for the, like the next two days. Yeah. How been, do you how do you mess that up so bad? The pool was closed and then the pool was reopened and it, it was chaos. We gotta get a meteor- meteorologist on here. We can find one. That would That'll be come fun. On and just grill them and be like, hey, is there anybody else? Is there any profession that you can be wrong seventy percent of the time and right thirty percent of the time? I don't even think it's seventy. Per- no, I think it's you're actually, giving them. I think you're giving them credit on seventy percent. You're actually 70%. an all star in baseball if you do that. 
<laughs> no, you're the best yeah. player to ever play the game yeah. if you're that. I, it's just so I, they are so wrong, and yeah, then they're, they're like, "Oh, it's going to last until Tuesday." Now we're going to get so much rainfall and all this stuff. How how Tuesday, are they that out. wrong? It's Tuesday. It's beautiful out. Right I, don't, now. I don't understand. <laughs> and now you just dated us again. I know. I keep doing that. It's okay. We're I growing our hair out too, huh? It's possible. I just I haven't I'm got I have not gotten a cut in a long time. I haven't been able to get it because I've been in in COVID protocol. But it's starting to flip out the back of the hat a little. You're trying but to be also, John B. Yeah, you know the what, mullet. Max? Bring a mullet back, you know or not Max, even back. It's right. back. Get a mullet, or just. What know. if I went? If I went for the rest of the year into next summer and got and got in shape, uh, we'd John B. It. We could John B. I have to get tan too, though. John B. Is from Outer Banks. Outer Banks. Yes, yeah. I saw that. Did you watch? I did. Yeah, we, we watched it. It was good. So you're growing the hair out. I'm not intentionally growing the hair out, but it's Let's possible. Just it. I just, right now I'm lazy and I don't really want to get a haircut. I do need to clean up the back. Oh, yeah. I got a wolf, little bit. I got Because I, I have a problem, wolf too. Neck. My hair, like, grows out. And it looks like a mushroom <laughs> at some point. So I think I need to clean it up if we're going to do it. There, it can't be, like, in 2007, we did no haircuts, no no beard trims, oh, no nice. no nothing. I think I'm older and more. How'd that go? I'm more mature nowadays, so I won't go. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to get a haircut, but I will clean it up. Maybe. Yeah. How'd it go? You're such an <laughs> asshole. You're such an asshole. I didn't mean to. You know, what? Just, we're having a what good year day. Was it? Was it? We're having a good day. It's hot and humid. This thing. I'm going to be sweating my balls off in here. Yeah, you are. You are. We got your good buddy sure. that I became yep. friends yep. with now, Dave Jenkins, former mm-hmm. University of Virginia lacrosse player. Now with the now public company wheels up, mm-hmm. we're going to talk to national him. championship. Yeah, good golfer. That's kind of cool. We both sucked there in the four day, which we'll talk about for a minute. But we um, uh, also good paddleball player. Yeah, sport and that you don't hear a lot about. Full disclosure: we did tape the interview beforehand, so we do have some exciting news coming up for the winner. Yes, regarding we do. We that, have a nice and challenge. I'm excited, and my body isn't because it, it may. It may, it may have to go under hey, the knife looking, after this. Uh, you're looking buff, though. I'm you're trying. looking like you're hitting the weights. I yeah. and you have been, huh? Five o'clock, three days a week. It could yep. just be the shirt, it's, but you know, you're popping, popping a little bit. I feel better. I do. You I feel do, stronger. I feel better. I feel like I'm not sagging <laughs> as much. <laughs> yeah, which is important for the mental, st- mental, uh, mental well, state. Yeah. So that's you know one one way to. We were riding a lot, a lot. A I'm lot. not dropping weight though. You should no. That's what I'm saying. I'm not that's dropping any weight. So you shed. We weight. may have to revise this weight challenge because I'm feeling good. We might just do. We might have to do uh, bicep size, chest size. <laughs> but all right. So here's what we've learned like about leg here's size. what here's what we've learned about you in the last 37 episodes. Uh-huh. Whatever we're doing, you just go above and beyond and get so super focused on it. That's the only thing you do. <laughs> So you will come in, you will, you will, yeah, you will just do biceps. You will lose the Peloton. Your legs will be like straws. Peloton will be for you sale. will have, you'll yeah. have a pencil for a forearm and yeah. then you'll have this gigantic Hulk Hogan bicep. I'll just sit there and just do the curls 22 all night. inch pythons. Yeah. Your neck will be just, just, just fat. Your, your neck will be eating your head. <laughs> it'll, it'll be like your, giant yeah, it'll be like your neck threw yeah. up your head. Okay. All right. I, I mean, but we got to figure this out. Yeah, we gotta figure it out. Because if you're, I was gonna, but I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. When I, just, I ride I, the I, peloton a lot, or when I start to shed, I get rid of a lot of like the the doughiness, right? And you start to like kind of trim down. <laughs> doughiness is better than the word no, sagging, which I sag- use. I sagging, like doughiness. Sagging is true though, <laughs> but you also can do that without cardio. You can do that with lifting because I've done that before too, where. You just start crushing chest and back, and all of a sudden the fat just turns into muscle. <laughs> yeah. I know it's not how it really works, but it's just your back gets bigger, yeah. and it doesn't look as undefined. Yeah, it's bringing me back to grade school and, I, and <laughs> to make up for my uh, my weight challenge at the time. I, I, instead of saying uh, I'm fat, big boned, I, I'm big boned. Uh, what was the other one? Slow metabolism, <laughs> and then uh, and then the uh, the all the good one was always. Um, uh, muscle weighs more than fat, right? Yes. So you got three built-in excuses. Perfect. But I, yeah. I, I, I'm doing a, a array of yeah. stuff right now. I, your workout regimen is world class right now. Yeah, I mean, not world class, but well, it's getting I'm, there. Well, I guess not. Probably doing. A, I'm doing. <laughs> Weights, I'm, do, I'm doing yoga, a variety bike, of different you're, things. You're, you're running, diving in everything. Running, running, a little bit of running now too. Outside, outside, down the ocean. What is it? Ocean Road. Uh, ocean, ocean Ave. 
Ocean Road. Ocean Road. Jim Cantoro was in Narragansett. Yeah. He kept saying the, Ocean close. Street. I'm like cursing at him in yeah. the car. It's like, it's not Ocean Street, it's Ocean Road. <laughs> you know, he's at the Coast Guard house. Like, you should have popped down there. You should have popped down there. I, if we were in town, maybe yeah. go down for the beginning of it just to see it roll in and then get out. No, but try to get on TV with him. You know, give him a little wave. From, from down below. Hey, right? Jim, you don't hey. know me. You don't know these 80 <laughs> other people that are waving with you, too. Yeah, that's what yeah. I wanted to do. Yeah, well. I actually just wanted to see the waves. I heard there were some, some big waves. I didn't, I didn't see. There was one storm Hurricane a while Henry. ago. Was, had some, yeah, Henry. <laughs> that had some <laughs> bomb waves down there over the top of the wall and everything. I don't think anything was going over the wall with this storm. I think it. I th- Sandy? It, it, oh, but it, it was, was Sandy that was Sandy. pushing Sandy over the wall. Sandy was going right. over the wall a little bit. But then they were breaking over the wall and coming over with like the foam. Mm-hmm. So on Ocean Road, I believe it foam. was foamy. Got it. Got it. Foamy That's road. it. It didn't. It didn't. Foamy F. No flooding whatsoever in the Coast Guard House, which is right down there on Ocean Road. Yeah. Uh, no flooding. Flooding, which has taken some flooding in past weather events. Okay. Well, Bob in particular, and I think I got some from Sandy. Gloria, that was a big one. Eighty-three, New England. Were you born yet? I think I was, oh, zero. Yeah. <laughs> zero. <laughs> I just remember, I remember that being a name. Uh, Might have even been earlier than that. Um, hurricanes, I never, you know, hurricanes weren't really a thing in Maine. I mean, we get a little wind, but like it's tornadoes and stuff. Like we, I'd like wonder if there was one coming and look out the window when it's supposed to be like taking shelter. Yeah. You know, I, I think that's why we live in New England. We don't get, we don't get the, well, too the, much chaos. No. From the weather. Ice storms. Like, I, I understand. Protect the boats. Protect your house. If there's one coming in, I get that. But I don't think we have a right to complain about a Category 1 when no. people are getting 4 and 5. No. It's just no. like, it's not even a comparison, right? No. no. We have it's some- kind of like tip, you know, complaining about COVID for the last three weeks. <laughs> yeah. So I've got the COVID fog. The COVID fog is a real thing. I've talked about it to a lot of people. The COVID fog is out there. That's for sure. Feel great in terms of sinus, all this stuff. Energy still, still low. Still sound like shit. Do I sound like shit? Yeah, and you're the sound guy. You, right, Max? Do I sound a little Max, like didn't shit? You say that? Sound a little nasally. It could be from saying Henri too and much. And you hate that too. It could be from the Henri thing. Henri. I know. I hate that. I hate that I sound nasally. Maybe even just the whining. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, just, turn, you're turning into a six-year-old with the baby voice yeah, right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm just using the baby voice. So we've got – so I'm almost through this, I think. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm starting to get angry about it a little bit, but it's it's just – it sucks. It sucks. I'm you'll in the prime come, of my life right now. You'll come out of it. Prime of my life. You'll make I it. better come out of you'll it. You'll make it. Okay, I'm going to come out of it. You'll make it. Um, what else? The four-day – we had that. Yeah, let's it's hilarious. Yeah, let's let's talk. Dave's your partner. Who Dave's we're my partner. Speak to, he, so he, he comes on. We we talk about it a chunk in the interview, but the four day is awesome. It's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at Quinesa. Most tournaments are three days. Yeah, it's something four, that you four look, seems four seems too long. It's a long time. You three, look forward three to it all is year. long. You looked forward to it all year. You do, and then you look forward to being done. Like on the third day, you're oh, exhausted. God. I can't even imagine going another day. If you have to get through all all through the playoffs and everything, you're playing another eighteen holes. Like you're yeah, playing. that's crazy that you guys do another 18. Not, for the well, playoff. it's not 18. It's nine, but the playoff. Yeah. To get into the playoffs, there's like these like three hole playoff holes and yep. stuff. It's crazy. So um, it was a good playoff, too. I didn't really know the two teams that were in it that well, but it was a good. The, the One team came out, won the first three holes. The other team came back and won the next three holes. It was a, it was a shootout. Good. Barn burner. You want to you so. you you see good. Good, yeah. good competition. Dave and I didn't play well. We were not in one of the final two teams. Which we, is which is which makes it fun. I thought, oh, it sucks so you bad. You lost we, again. You lost again. We got to give Ralph, a lot of Ralph strokes. kicked your ass again. We didn't play Ralph. We got to give a lot of strokes out there. And I wasn't playing great. And my handicap's pretty low. And Dave just for some reason couldn't putt. And and he hits the ball so long though. Didn't he break a club? He broke his driver face on the third day. And still, it ended up working okay still, which is. Good thing, but he was bombing drives even, all week. He, it's so he, funny. he does bomb it, and even if he did break the club and it's unusable, he could take the uh, the hybrid out and still hit it. From yeah, two eighty. <laughs> hilarious. Like, he just crushes. He, the ball. He, can, he can he can hit it. He can swing it. He's an athlete, so yeah. Uh, he, we'll get into that with Dave as well. And then the like. Liberty National Tournament just oh Finau out. Finau won, so he, uh, he, he, he's not. He's no longer 2000, a runner up. Almost two thousand days, something like since that. Since he won, since he won. And he's been top, I, I saw some stat, second, I want to say it's 11 times. Or it might have been top three 11 times. 
11 yeah. times during that time. I think it's second 11 times. Top 25 like 35 times. That might yeah. even that might even been top 10. Maybe. maybe. Here's the That's thing crazy. though. With He's golf, been like, hey, okay, it's not like football like with a quarterback where you're you're uh, you're judging that quarterback from whenever he played on if he wins a Super Bowl, mm-hmm. right? He only needs to win one, mm-hmm. right, to yep. just stamp his legacy. Golfing, you need to win, but now it's like the clock just started again. When are you going to do it again? Yeah, this you is know, sometimes the, when these golf guys is go like on a the, run. the consistent. Yeah, then break the seal. Jury's out. We'll see what happens. Yeah. But if it starts to get, hey, it's been a year. It's been right. you know six tournaments or 12 tournaments since he won. He hasn't won a major yet. Yep. And it's going to start ticking and wonder if it gets into yep. him mentally. Did you, Again. We didn't talk about this. Did you watch the Peyton Manning um, Hall of Fame speech? Yeah, I did. I thought it was good. I thought it was good, too. I, I You know what? The, it was a good speech. It was, I think he, he did it right. He, he did it right. I there Apparently, um, the one with the NCAA, by the time Brady gets in, Instagram, I guess they only give him six minutes to go, especially this oh, year because they were. Is? Oh, because two days. Ray Lewis was well, like forty minutes. Away. Yeah, so I, I get limiting <laughs> yeah. their time. Hey, just yeah. don't. It's kind of like the Oscars when they start playing the music, maybe in the background. Yeah, he just he went fast. Yeah, he went fast. Oh, he I, was cooking. I, I honestly thought, like, like if he could have slowed down, he's such a good speaker. He's such a good storyteller. It would have been even better. Yeah, but the fact that. Like, I wanted him to slow down when he was going through that, hey, I'm taking a snap from, like, Dermani Dawson or something like that and throwing from it to, di- from, you from, know what uh, I mean? You, from were, you every, were hoping for a name drop from, right there? What? You were hoping for a name drop? No, I'm not snap. in the Hall of Fame. He was just mentioning oh, okay. the team that he's <laughs> oh, in. Oh, when he was talking about When that. he was gotcha, talking gotcha, about gotcha, the gotcha. new team he's on yeah. with all these legends from different eras. It was really cool how he incorporated everybody mm-hmm. into that. I did like I that. Thought that. I thought that was uh, well done. Yeah, I did like that. So that was good speech. Yeah. I, I meant to I, I will never that. be. I, I will never be in that speech. You're in a Hall of Fame, though. You're in I'm a couple. In, I'm in a couple. It's good. Not that one. Well, so I'm just going to watch my friends. Your Hall of Fame. My, my teammates go in. What's that quote from? Your Hall of Fame, my book. Who yeah, says this? Oh, uh, remember the Titans. <laughs> what is, what is so remember the Titans. What, what, who says it's, it? Where it's, uh, it's Denzel Washington. When the other guy, there goes the Hall of Fame because he backs up Denzel Washington. You don't remember this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to. It's yeah. Coach Yost. Because yeah. they're like, you're not going to be in the Hall of Fame because he's like supporting like the, the, the black African-American yes. coach, right? He's yes. saying, you know, and, and then uh, they say, like, there goes the Hall of Fame. And then Denzel Washington's like, like your Hall of Fame in my book. Okay. I like that. Your Hall of no, Fame in my book, good. though. You know, we almost watched that. I think my son is – Has he seen he's, that He's yet? watched a couple parts of it. You know what we watched? Which is – I, th- I think it's a wonderful show. And actually, the 10-year-old girl and the 8-year-old girl watched it with us. Hoosiers. Oh, that's a great it was a, it was a, It was a proud father moment. Jimmy Chitwood. Oh, I think, <laughs> it's about time. I think it's about time I start playing ball. What if, oh, God. <laughs> take my heart. Right to the heart. Oh, yeah. When he's out there, actually, oh. also, remember that scene where he's out there in the backyard where Hackman comes and talks to him? He knocks down like 15 straight jumpers. That wasn't cut either. That, no, no. Show he knocks it down time. and then uh, leaves and he misses. No, he misses. Yeah. But he said, he's like, Jimmy, I, I don't care if you play on the team or not. Yep. And just Next shot the ball. by it. Brick. <laughs> it's great. Yep. Great That's, movie. Oh. When he comes uh, off that just, pick and roll. Just tingles. Just giving tingles. Yeah, I love that movie. Oh, man. What about at the end? Hey, look at this. <laughs> he does that. He's what? got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> the music. It the soundtrack. No, everything about, about that movie is no, great. No, 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 no. At the end, when they set up the final play, I'm literally getting goosebumps Oh, right I'll, I'll make it. The end. Oh, my God. Hey, what we're going to use you. We're going to use you. Like, no, we're going to use you as, uh, a decoy, a decoy. as a decoy. And everybody gets up. It's like. What's what's the matter with you guys? What's the matter? I'll make it. I'll make it. Oh, I almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's Huge. back, people. He's back. Yeah. Oh you man. You can't smell that, it, but you can. You can. That, you can. That you can taste competition. Scene right there. Oh yeah. I want to go play the four day again right now. <laughs> I'm ready to go right now. That we might have just defeated COVID. That's how go, you do it. You just watch Hoosiers. You just, you just talk about Hoosiers. <laughs> I'm going to watch it tonight now, 100%. Oh. I'm 100% watching it. Then give an tonight. update how you feel tomorrow. Probably the same, but I'm going to try. I'm going to fight through it. So, But uh, last update on smell. Still can't smell my farts. Oh, you're lucky. That's a good thing. Don't know why. Can't smell them. Can't smell. Uh, I had some pizza. 
Are you, sure? Are you that a question? No, like I had some pizza and it like <laughs> no, you know, didn't like when you're didn't he, didn't he, like the, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know when you're yeah. eating pizza though and you're like putting it in your mouth, you can like smell it. Yeah, go and smell it. Maybe you burned your mouth. No, I'm telling you, there's some I'll, smells. That I'll are tell off. you what, it's a hot box in here. Can, Maybe you can smell mine. Oh, if you let one go right now, <laughs> I wouldn't smell it. <laughs> It's, it's a good thing because you do let them go in here sometimes. Sometimes and I, I, I hold my usually, breath. Usually after the fact, just like a little little yeah. little parting Sign gift. Just deadly. a little parting gift. Yeah, we've got some good fart and poop stories. I'm sure that we'll talk about from the locker room someday. I was doing yoga today. <laughs> I held it in for 50 minutes. Oh, I, I had to fart. You get in the car. Uh, I had to fart. I had to seat. fart at the beginning of the class. And some of those moves, like you get in, it's like I, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna try to give a little extra yeah. effort right now because if I do, it's it's. I'm gonna toot. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> toot. I'm going to toot. Uh, you know what's so and great? I left early. I was like, if I, I, I might poop myself right now. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Hey, we're, f- we're, uh, we're, um, I guess like middle age guys, right? I'm 37, you're 40 something, right? Nothing makes you laugh more than farts. Nothing, nothing. And my <laughs> wife, like, they don't get it. It's farts. just hilarious. It's so funny. Farts and pooping is funny. So funny. I laugh I at don't the, get it. the videos on, like, Instagram or TikTok where somebody has a fart and they take the thing off the wall at Walmart and just, like, <laughs> the phone. It's the funniest thing of how all about, time. I how about Dumb and Dumber? How much oh. do you laugh at, at uh, when, he puts his legs when out. he's sitting on the oh. toilet? It's so true. And like the, the, the faces uh, he made, it's just, it's uh, just always going to be funny. I'm sorry. Uh, Does that make me immature? Probably. I, I'm telling you, I can't ever see myself not laughing about farts. <laughs> I could be 65 years old, like retired, sitting there on the porch, like having a cup of coffee in the morning and let out a rip, a big old <laughs> fart, and I'd laugh my ass off. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, get to the Dave uh, interview. It's fantastic. As we mentioned, uh, guest this week, Dave Jenkins. So I've known Dave for a while, Dan, and we've played golf with Dave. I, I yes, and I have become friends or friends buddies, with Dave. Buddies, yep, yep buddies, buddies with Dave through um, you, through me. Uh, Dave and I have played some incredible golf courses. We're going to talk about that. Uh, oh. We also play in the four day tournament. Which which, ju- which just happened. Which and I, just I, happened. I, I, I cannot wait to which get into that. Just happened. There's a lot to talk I about. Can, that. I can wait. I can yeah, wait. I, I, I'm sure yeah. you can, Dave. And it's been three years too. We played that for three years, so there's a I lot of stories from that. Might even be four. Was it three um, or four? Let's just get our facts straight. I think it's no clue. Yeah, I said when he asked me on the golf course, I thought it was five. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it we're keeps away. coming down. And, and the, thing, the other great thing about this is. I don't remember any of the holes I play. So Tip has to do my score because I never write it down. So I never <laughs> I have to like roll it back and because you have to place your scores as competition scores. So I have to like roll it back in my head with Dave. But then also Dave, what we haven't talked about, well also he's with Wheels Up, which is really cool because he has all kinds of like cool stories about Wheels Up. But the other thing is they've won a national championship in lacrosse. One or two? One, right? One. You should have won yeah, two. Should have won two. Are we sure so, are we sure about that number? We're sure about that. Well, no, I'll say two. We won two. Okay. (laughs) So (laughs) only recognized as one. National Championship in lacrosse at Virginia. So you're our first lacrosse guy we've had on here. And we have done some lacrosse stuff. We've we've done a bunch of stuff with U.S. lacrosse, but you're the first lacrosse guy on here. And then also pro for how many? Well, like, I I don't understand lacrosse pro yet because now there's like two leagues. How many years were you playing? I did two years right out of college. So my draft year was 01 and the MLL major league lacrosse, which you now is no longer, it's now the PLL, but that was the first 2001 was the first year. So I went and played for the Cannons for two years. Then I took two years off and then I played four years. So a total of six years. So mm-hmm. again, complicated. I can't believe I remember that, but that is, that is the way it went. What, what and I, gra- I retired. Why, why did you take two years off? I was working in Boston and it's just, you know, it's um, it's one of those things you certainly you practice once a week and you play a game on the weekend. Um, so basically every weekend in the summer was gone. I was what, 24 years old and you know, Boston was fun. So yeah. you needed to get to Nantucket. Um, so you only, <laughs> even, even with the professional lacrosse and I'm not knocking lacrosse here whatsoever. Uh, I think it's a fun sport. I think it's a great sport. And I wish it was more popular in Pennsylvania where I grew up. Um, because it is now, it, yeah, you're right. It absolutely is now. It's popular up here in the Northeast, which it wasn't popular, you know, nope. back at, back mm-hmm. in the old days. Nope. Um, I just you only played, you only practiced once a week, and then you played on the weekend. 
So that makes it was, sense. It was, so it, was, it was a, you know, we're, we had games on, you know, sometime, I can't remember what year it started. We had games on ESPN, like a game of the week and things like that. But literally, I was making probably a thousand bucks a week okay. to play lacrosse. So it's a glorified men's league, but it was the best talent in the world. Yeah. yeah. So you had kids, you had people playing in it that were, you might have graduated college that might have been, you know, 10 years prior, but they were the best names in the game and they might have been playing for, Team Toyota or things like that mm-hmm. in the summer league games, and now those guys are getting drafted back into or into a real professional league where you got paid. But again, they couldn't really force you to practice every day because they couldn't pay for it all. Yeah. That was uh, that was started by Body by Jake. So no, so nowadays with the PLL, those guys yeah. are full time practicing. You know, during their season, it. no, you don't it. think I so. Know, again, I don't know for sure, but I don't think so. no, they're not because they're like a lot of them. You know, they do it in the summer. They actually, right now, they none of them have an actual home field. They travel around That's right. just like yeah, the first year of just the a team. Uh, That's right. Yeah. So I, I think they do need to find homes for those teams and, and hopefully generate a base. Because if you didn't play lacrosse, which, again, when you think about it, a lot of the fathers – uh, that are taking their kids to games because their kids love the game. Mm-hmm. They grew up playing baseball, football. Yep. They don't know how to – like you watch that game on TV and people that never played it don't know how to follow the ball. So it's a hard sport for TV. Oh, I, I have no idea where the ball – I also, though, have no idea where the puck is on the ice in hockey. I'm always like, lost. Did you lose vision, too, because of COVID? No, I did I not lose I vision, I too. I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, so, How do you not follow the puck no, or the I, ball? It's, it's tough to see sometimes. And sometimes the ball – like. You think the guy has it in his like net cage thing, and then buddy, then he, another guy. <laughs> good has good it. catch on the cage. That it, was it not net? It's cage. I don't know. Is it? Is I have no idea. Oh, okay. it's a pocket. Jesus, Damn both, it, we're both uh, wrong. We <laughs> both know <laughs> absolutely just... nothing. Here's what I, I have a question for Dave on this. First, did you have a long stick or did you have a short stick? I do know there's a difference between the two. I was a midfielder, short stick. Okay, yeah. Did you like to just hit people? What's your What was your goal? It. But it's just again, when, when blow lacrosse, people up. It's, it's hard because. And let you, to blow people up, a lot of times what happens is you they throw the, they'll make a pass just as you're blowing them up, and then you're out of the play, and now they've got you know kind of mm. a break. So, a lot of times you know the hits are great and they're fun, uh, but in lacrosse, most times you you kind of miss, and then you're you're out of the play, and now they've got an um, you know an uneven break, so you're giving up goals. Would you say so it, would it, you it, say it, instead of hitting, you would slash more? Definitely. Okay. Because that's right. what, I mean, even like Campbell, I mean, I, my son played baseball when he was, you know, T-ball, six, seven years old, and kids pitch at seven years old is the worst sport in the world. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. just, you have to, kids use are making for a while sandcastles in the infield. <laughs> so the next year when he was eight years old, he played rec- lacrosse. And that was yeah. basically my first introduction to the sport. And I was actually shocked on how physical it was for an eight-year-old he played again at nine-year-olds and it got even more physical and then you watch some of those uh the pll or the mml games or the college games which are great those guys get after it i was shocked on how physical that sport is yeah well again like as you get into the pro league and college you know literally you're again if you're way up above your head and you're slashing um you know, they might let one go, two, three, then then they're going to be throwing the flag. But in the pro league, I remember you, you, if you caught a ball and you're in traffic, I mean, you'd get one down in the thigh, one in the stomach, one in the head. And they'd be like, nah, I didn't see anything. So it's like, I mean, it, it is constant. And again, that's why you want to hit with, you know, you want to keep people uh, away from you in a sense so you can play defense. Um, because as, as you get in, it's harder to throw checks. So if you get into someone, that's um, that's kind of the offense's advantage. <laughs> Cross. But, Difficult sport. But I, I never understood the – like, you use your stick like a weapon in that sport is what it seems yeah. like. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't but know the difference. Great way to get aggression. So out. you can't bring <laughs> the stick – technically, you can't bring the stick up above your head and bury somebody, but you could bring it maybe from the shoulder a little bit. Just and, a bit. just depends on the ref. Okay. So, yeah. See, yeah, yeah. Just, like, just yeah. like any other sport. So he knows. You so play, you you play how it's being called. Right. Yeah. So in the, exactly in the beginning of the game, you might go above your head, you get a penalty. You're like, well, that, you got to loosen up a little bit there. You got to bring it back down. But for the most part, you know, from you know, hacks on the arm, the mm-hmm. arm is considered the stick as long as you're not really coming up above your head and coming so, down. So when you get a penalty, do you go to the penalty box? You do. Okay, there, there's an actual yeah. box where you have to go there, and, right, you, right, right, and, right, you, and you are you shamed. Your, you're shamed. Yeah. 
right next to the um, right where the bench is. There's there's a box where you go and you take a knee and you're sitting there. It could be a thirty second, it could be a minute, it could be two minute unreleasable. You know, it depends on what you did. Okay. So sometimes sometimes you can get like a two minute penalty and you're in there for the whole two minutes even if you score. Dave, so, where did you where did you grow up? In Dedham, Massachusetts. So how did you get into lacrosse? I went to a school called Park School, and they had it there. But I grew up playing baseball. Was, it a, was, it, a, was, it, was it a fancy school? It's a fancy school. Okay. Right. Just, I have a just question. double check. I have, no, but here's the thing, though. <laughs> Lacrosse wasn't your first love, though, right, Dave? For a sport? No, hockey. hockey. Right. So here, so here's let's, – let's get into this now. So so Dave plays hockey. Was going to go where? Where were we going to go play hockey in college? Uh, basically, everywhere I looked for for college um, was hockey, except for Virginia for lacrosse. And, Which is crazy. Um, right? Like you went, you decide. When did you make that decision? Because this is something we get into a lot of guests a lot. Like, are you good at well, any it's, other it's sports? A lot, it was a, as you know, it's a lot different back then. So I think um, I was one of the first people in, in at Taft School where I went to high school that committed to play at Virginia, which was September going, you know, my senior year where now they're changing the rules all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I think now you have to have graduated. Um, you, you have to be going into your junior year before you can now mm -hmm. kind of right. con verbally commit. That senior um, year though, did you still play hockey too? Oh yeah. Okay. Football, hockey, and lacrosse. I so played. what made so. the, so you had these offers for hockey you had the, and you had this basically offer you were like i'm going to look at virginia for lacrosse that's it and then all these other things what was the deciding factor to go play lacrosse cool. instead of hockey just cool. school i think like the thing the, the thing you say and um you know i wasn't i don't think i was going to play in the nhl um my mm -hmm. brother had played at bu and uh played two years in the east coast hockey league really mm -hmm. good player so I'm like, well, he's traveling around by bus going up to like Sioux City or whatever those different places are <laughs> tip, that they tip, play. Tip well, knows, it, tip knows this Don't very know. well. I know this very well. 14-hour <laughs> yeah. bus rides and, um, you know, I was like, well, but, you know, that's not great. So looking at a place like UVA and uh, I was also looking at Boston University for hockey and others. I was like, well, I can live in Boston where I've been my whole life or I can go down to Virginia and experience something new. And I said, if I got hurt, couldn't play sports, where would I rather be? And mm -hmm. there's no no question that, you know, Virginia was uh, was the place, a new experience, and, and certainly a lot of fun and an amazing lacrosse program. So, but you almost went to Virginia, right? Not almost. And we were golfing <laughs> yeah, at we the country club, yeah. and I told Dave the story when I was – it was my – Going into my junior year of high school, me and my dad took like a southern trip, unofficial visits. Oh, this is where they yeah, lost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This so is a great. We story, went down actually. to Charlottesville, and I know exactly what Dave's talking about. My my uh, my high school coach, which I think I, which I think I've said, gave me the greatest advice. Which you just said, it's like, hey, take take the sport out of it. Where do you want to go? Where are you most comfortable yeah. without playing yeah. football, without playing lacrosse? So we went down to Virginia and Charlottesville, and it's just an absolutely beautiful campus. Beautiful. We went into the weight room. We saw some guys. I actually saw a guy that I didn't know at the time was from my area. Mm -hmm. And I was, my coach was pushing Virginia hard. So I would probably say it was a good chance that I might have gone there or yep. would it would have came down to Boston College, Syracuse, or Virginia. Mm -hmm. They just stopped recruiting me. Stopped. Stopped. And I think uh, Welsh was still the coach then. Yep. He ended up getting fired. And what happened was it wasn't the you know the – technology day where everything's on the computer <laughs> i forgot it, this story had, and this is hilarious they had yeah. their recruits on a dry erase board yeah. and it was where just it's like a magnet hey, right yeah, they it's throw a magnet. the name up yep, yep. yep on dry erase board magnets and names and all this stuff well when they when they when this guy got canned they pulled his desk away and there were a few names behind the desk one of the names was mine it that's, why, <laughs> that's why they never ever sent me another letter in the mail. It could have been the top of the list too. It could have I been mean, like you, been. Got, you got to bring this guy Copeland. He's number one prospect that we have. And then the guy, and then your name just falls off, and they never talk to you. Could have been. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know where I was on the I list, like, but I know I never heard dads, from them again. The, no. dads, the other kids on the list just like. When it got in there and just kind of flipped your name off. Yeah, maybe. yeah, exactly. Yeah, but here's the other thing, too. I'm a junior in high school. It's like, how much could I have effed up that, like, visit <laughs> that I just, like, unofficial? I was like, did I not say hi correct yeah. or, you know, thank you or anything like that? It was just like, what You've the thought hell about happened? it every day since, where you're like, hey. it's like when somebody, if somebody robs your house, but, like, Dave they don't have Dave and I could have been better friends than you. Yeah, and absolutely. Or yeah. you and him. You guys would have been there the same time. Yeah. That would have been right around the same time. So. You would have been much older and cooler. Or, no, I was old. No, when did you graduate? 99? 
Oh, one. Oh, one. Oh, he was a year older. Yeah, yeah. It would have been same nice time frame. So you guys won you a know, national championship. My boy, Pat Turney. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know Pat too. Yeah, Pat. Pat is no, but he's older, isn't he? He's, he's older. He, yeah, he yeah, yeah, he's a couple years uh, older. Ninety-nine. Yeah. So you win national championship in ninety-nine, right? Correct. Yeah. How fun was that? That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> Good answer, Dave. <laughs> I'm assuming. So, um, what's, is it, you get a ring for that? What do you get for that? Yeah. When, what's, what's, uh, yeah, my, I think my kids have lost the ring, which used to be right up here. Oh, that's it's gone. Yep. My four-year-old daughter took that. It's somewhere in her room somewhere, I think, but mm -hmm. can't find it. But, yep, we won a ring, and uh, it was amazing. I think the, um, you know, it was, uh, it was an amazing year because we had, we lost three games that year. We lost to Duke. Uh, Hopkins and Syracuse and during the regular season. And then we actually got to play Duke again in the ACC finals and we beat them by one goal. I think it was eight, seven. And then we got to play Hopkins in the semifinals and we smoked them. Um, Connor Gill had um, a good friend of mine who was a freshman that year. I think he had like five goals in the first quarter. And um, so we beat them and then we get to beat Syracuse in the, in the national championship game, which was 12, 10. And, um, yeah, no, just an amazing, amazing year, amazing team. Um, we had a captain there, a guy, Tucker Radabaugh, who, um, you know, really held everyone accountable that year and, and just the toughness of the team. I think we didn't have any game that was harder than a practice. Um, the way yeah. we went at each other in practice, it was just a different feeling, a different team, a different mentality, and uh, uh, it was amazing to go through. Good, and actually, good the next parties. year – Switch good parties so after. <laughs> there we go. Immediately. We're, we're just going somewhere else with this now. Yeah. yeah. I somehow, you know, found myself back in Virginia for like 10 to 12 days afterwards. And, oh, uh, yeah. and, I thought uh, you were going to say 10 to 12 years afterwards. Yeah. Well, Charlottesville is a good place to live. But the, the next year, we were actually probably on paper better a better team, and we ended up losing to Princeton in the semifinals in a mud bowl, which Princeton loved to throw, slow the game down. And uh, we like to run and gun and – it certainly played into their favor. I think we had beaten them by like eight or nine goals in the regular season that year, and then they beat us. Um, but I think in terms of talent, we were we were stacked uh, my junior year. A national championship is good to have. I would like to have that on the resume. You, that's not that's not you or I. Yeah, we don't have. Yeah, that. we don't have that. That's a good one to have, Dave. So that's that's it a is. nice thing it to is. put on there. That is a nice thing to actually put on the resume. National champion. Um, yeah. Let's let's switch gears a little bit to some of the fun. Okay, because you and I have played a bunch of golf together, as yeah. we talked about leading into this interview. Um, we've played some courses, Dan. That's just good. so you know. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for. Well, and you've played you've played some with us. So, yeah, I've, so Dave and I have played together. I mean, his network is is awesome, and and our wives know each other from high school. That's how Dave and I have connected. So, uh, we've played Pinehurst number two. Yeah. Well, we've played a lot more course than this, but just some <laughs> some nice courses that we've played. Pioneers yeah. number two. We've played Shinnecock. Yeah. Okay. It's awesome. We've played your home club. Yeah. The country club, Brookline. U.S. Open there is a, next year. Dan has been up to that. I that because of him. So yeah. I actually, yeah. And yeah. Went we're up with Brew. I went up with Brew too. one time. What's that? You, you have a buddy that's a member there too. Then yeah, and for some reason he won't let you come. I don't know why. Oh. Yeah. yeah, well, he doesn't live on the property anymore, so... He, he, well, he, he didn't moved. live on the property for a number of years while you were still friends with him. Yeah. Hey, you know, I, I'm just waiting. I'm still waiting. I'm, I'm, I might go to Seminole. Let's, let, I'm saving yeah, it for Seminole. We can wait for that. But yeah. So Dave and yeah. I have played some courses together, and then a lots more, lots more that we've been to. But we also play the four-day together. So we'll do the four-day first, I guess, Dave. So four-day at Quinesa, we play in it last three years. Um, this year, uh, I'm coming straight off of COVID. <laughs> very, very tired, but still played okay. <laughs> for some reason, Dave and I look at each other every time for this tournament, too. Probably actually after every hole, and we're like, Jesus. We're like, we're good athletes, like we feel like. We're like, why can we not win this friggin' match so right you, now? So, you, all right, well, have you ever won the member guest? No, that's okay. a tough win. That's I'm not a tough I, win. I'm not saying but, no, no, it's no, I'm no, not, not saying it's a fair question. Not, fair question. I am, thank you. Very fair question. absolutely fair have not won the four-day. I'm not I, saying I'm not, not, I'm not saying you no, guys no, no. can't win it. I'm not saying that. I, agree. I just asked a question. Have you won it in the five, four, or three years we've not won that it. you've played? We've not won it. We've not been close to winning it. 
And we nope. can't understand why, because we get into every match. We usually have to give away some strokes, but we never seem to kill some. anybody. We never eight seem to kill anybody, in the first right, match. Dave? Yeah, we gave what? eight strokes that's in a match, tough. nine and a half that's strokes that's in a match. Tough. Nine and a half strokes. Then you guys should suck more. And these are, by the way, these are nine whole matches. I know, I know. I get it. <laughs> it's all I get it. You guys should just suck more before the tournament. No, no. I one did, thing, my uh, handicap went from a five to a seven because of how bad I sucked during the four day. Yeah. So. Yeah, and, and, and mine did just, that too. Just four days, and it went that up. <laughs> yeah, went up mine, that four high. days. Mine is the Never same. Happened. But it's not Dave, great. You can hit absolute bombs. That's what I was about to get to. He but then I have, mashes I have to hit the, the next ball. shot. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. So we're at a point too. After you do a, a couple of years, a few years of a four day tournament, you start to build these relationships, like with each other, where it starts to turn into like brothers where you actually can get mad at each other and like yeah. like each other at the same time. And we play with some guys who, one guy we play with, Kenny Wild, it's his 40th year with his partner. And yeah. 40th yeah. year with his partner. And he goes... <laughs> I don't the, think they'll watch this, so we can say whatever we want. We can want. say whatever yeah. we want about it. So he hits a, his partner hits a ball 20 feet. And Dave goes, geez, don't run the ball over. And then Kenny looks over at us and goes, why don't you just run my partner over for me? <laughs> you know, there's like people build up these things. Now, Dave and I, we're getting to the point now that we can start to rib each other a little bit. So, I mean, Dave's bombing balls all week, like just hitting it. I mean, and right down the middle of the fairway, like all week. And then somehow on these stroke holes, though, he's getting a half a stroke or a stroke. He's over a putt that's 25 feet. He hits it six feet. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then three pots. It might have been 12. It's not, not 25 foot. I'm probably hitting it 12. Soon. Yeah, so. and leaving, it, leaving more to go than you had on <laughs> before. I'm, I'm going to go to the back on uh, back for Dave right now. Those, those greens are slow. No, they were fast this week. Mm, they Dave, were faster Dave, this week, Dave. They, they may have been faster, but, but are they yeah. slow? Slower. Slower. Of course. Yeah. Then you're it's hard. Let me just, Dan, I'll put it this way. It wasn't the Greens' fault that I sucked okay. at putting. So. <laughs> it wasn't the Greens' fault. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it was just it was a, all it was a week of, you <sighs> know, uh, drinking a lot of uh, rye, you know, beers and the and the, or vodka tonics or whatever. Where normally Dave and I get get into these matches, and we don't even drink until after we're done for the day. Mm -hmm. We went early a few days, Dave, because we were like, we got to like, loosen up. I think eight forty-five was my first drink on one of the days. I just. Yeah. I was like, I got to do something because I would hit these bombs and I'd have like a, you know, like a 52 degree in. And oh, I'd less, like, you'd have, but you'd have like 70 it, yards in most of the time. It would just go all well, yeah. But when I had the pitch, uh, pitching yeah. range or something, remember those, those ones I just hooked to the left. I'm like, what? And I, I yeah. just come off the driving range. You're like, I just give up. Tip almost threw his bag in the, in the pond once, which yeah, was on five. I, I, I unclipped it. Well, I unclipped it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going towards the it. New, I was the, 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 new, new bag. the new bag. Oh, yeah. oh geez. You were oh, angry. I was really angry. So I was, the, the guys, the guys were, the guys we were playing with say, Hey, tip, just take those clubs out. I'll take the bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of your clubs, not the bag. <laughs> All right. So let me, so you, I mean, we've, we've discussed you're a tremendous athlete and you are a good golfer. I sense there's a, a, a problem with your mental toughness right now. What is it? <laughs> that why challenge is why, mental toughness. Why, why can't you just focus in like you did when you were playing lacrosse and figure it out on the run? I think that's why. I, I actually think that's what tip, tip has been wondering for the last three days since it's been over. Well, well, for both uh, of well, us. Yeah, you're going to ask us both, ask us yeah. both that question. Yeah. All right. Like why why, why can't, why can't these professional eight. athletes just figure it out yeah. mentally? Because it, like, it sounds like you're both weak. I went two days without a birdie. Very, very rare for me. And then Dave's like, can you run off a string, please? And I started to run off a string. Yeah, I ran off two yeah. in a row. And then it's a, Dan, it's a good question. I, don't, I have no clue how to answer it. Uh, it's probably because I actually think about golf, whereas <laughs> everything else I do, I just play. And compete and and used to win. Now I might be getting a little heavy and all those types of things. So <laughs> it's but, it's uh, so it, frustrating when we're out there. I don't know. I think I think I think I obviously think too much. You about the you know what? Game. That yeah. Go ahead. Keep going. You're good. You think too much. Yeah. I, I you know I'm like why why I just ask the question like why can, I can win all these other things I do, mm -hmm. but then I get on like all right. So this time I'm going to do this and I should I, I started tip at the end there. No, I, I was like I didn't even take. I got up, I teed it up, and I just swung. Yeah, no practice was, swing. Nothing. See, th no. that's what I did too, did recently too. And I, I 
was hitting the ball well off the tee early on, and then I played with you guys, and I was just atrocious. Sucked. I was doing you were having a little mental lapse that day. Completely. And then you mentioned it afterwards, and you brought up putting and all that stuff. You mentioned it afterwards. It's like, God, you were standing over that putt forever. Mm -hmm. And then it's just like you're just sitting there thinking instead of letting your – your natural ability, and yes, I know golf is probably the equalizer sport of everybody because there's ups and there's downs, and you can't control all that. But if you're sitting there just thinking about every little thing, you have no chance. So hard. So it's hard. It. Ralph Wendell. Yeah, I, I was got, actually. We got Ralph Wendell. <laughs> yeah, Ralph, Ralph kicked your asses. He didn't play us, but I saw him on the putting green. I mean, I was nervous as soon as I saw him. I was like, Ralph Wendell, if we did get him, it's trouble. So, um, Dave. We're going to win one day. We already, yes. We've already we already said that. We will be playing this tournament for the next 40 years. I can't wait till yeah. 40 years from now you're like, you're saying, can you run my partner over? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make it 40 years from now. But th- yeah. that'll end up being the case. But good good times. I mean, we love the guys there. It's That's what's fun yeah. about it. It's they, just like a really cool crew of mm-hmm. guys. The dinners, you know, like you sit there and you're, you know, there's a lobster one night, a steak dinner, there's a, there's a pig roast. You know, it was all this stuff. And then one night we went out to eat. We took we went with the with the wives out to eat. We went to the Chandler in Newport. So that was could have been could have been that could have been a problem. That so was an, I think next year much, gotta be yeah, how much sleep did you get that night? We didn't get much. Uh, yeah, no. It, but I think I think this next year what we have to do is we gotta do a better job planning so we don't get yelled at as much. Yes. I and, agree uh, with you. I you know, agree that, with you there, was, Dave. Uh, you you that can't was control a that. Much. Yeah, that was we got a little much that. this year. You can't control that. that. You can't control that. We can't well, We'll see. Well, we're going to try something different. Yeah, we're going to have we're going to do something so. different. We might send them send them to a place. You know, like oh, send you're them. going way out there. That <laughs> yeah, like buy yeah. like a big. Trip. They're not even going to be in the state. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or or Dave and I are going to have to plan a different member I mean, guest that's in a different state somewhere. Uh, yeah. yeah. You guys go off on your own, and we're going to take your cell phones. You guys can't call at all. Yep. And, uh, Just launch the phone into the lake. I agree. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about the country club because the U.S. Open's there next year, and all Dan and I talk about is, like, basically tough golf and fun golf That's and it. golf tournaments. And Oof. so your club, we've played it. You know, you know, I've played it a bunch. Dan's played it a couple times now. Uh, you hit the ball one foot off of the fairway, and it's – you pretty much can't find it. You mm-hmm. have to have caddies out there, which is I I I, may, I love caddies. I think that's so fun. And if we didn't have them at your course, Dave, I know that I'd lose two or three more balls. And it's Easily. not even spraying the ball. It's just you can't find them in the rough. And it's yeah. playing as the members like it still right now. So how hard is it going to be next year? Well, they tested it. They tested it in June, and they grew it up, and it was – it's, it's just, I don't know how, you know, again, you always say that and then the, the pros actually play it and they're just, it's so much better than, than you could ever imagine. And it's going to be just fun to watch them and, and see mm-hmm. what they do and what they choose to do, because it's one of those courses where I, again, I can't do this, but they can choose to have par or they can go for birdie. And I think that's where they'll get in trouble. Cause you know, if they're off, if like someone like Bryson hits it too far even him with that swing, I mean, I don't know how you can, and I always say this and then they do it, but I don't know how they're going to get it out and get it on the green. So they're going to have to, I, I think they're going to have to take a penalty and basically chip it back onto the fairway with it and they can go and try to save par. Yeah. So that's my thought. And then obviously, obviously they're going to play and we'll see what happens, but it is, um, it's hard. It's, it, I know length doesn't scare them, but I, I think that with length, um, you know, when they try and have to hit it to different spots, they're going to run through. Hopefully there's not a lot of rain that week and, you know, they'll, they'll have to run through and hit it from the rough and it's just devastating. And then those small greens with lots of trouble around them. So, um, it'll be fun to see. And, uh, I'm going to be working, uh, um, at the practice area. So, um, mm-hmm. we'll see. I'll probably have to be there till 1130 watching Bryson till you know, midnight. Uh, but it's going to be a, it's going to be a fun event for sure. Dan and I have decided to watch it on TV. We may right. we may force your hand and come up for a practice round day and hang out at the uh, practice area with you a little bit. Well, I think so, yeah. I, I, don't, I think practice. I mean, practice round makes sense to go up there, but it's still like I mean, going on that day. And from what it sounds like, parking is going to be an absolute. Disaster. It's going to be chaos up there, right? You should ride. You guys should ride your. Don't do Peloton in the morning. Ride your bike up. <laughs> just ride right. your bike up. Just just do <laughs> yeah, a quick a sixty idea. mile ride right up that's there. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah I like just, that. Uh, just, 
you know, leave the bikes right outside and, mm-hmm. and uh, walk on in. You guys will be good. The other question, I mean, the thing you brought up is I playing there a couple times now is how I mean I can't believe how small the greens are. So if you're hitting oh, if you're so hitting tiny. out of that rough and they're that yeah. good and they're so good, how do you hold it on those greens? I, that's just why we gotta you know pray for for heat and just have everything dry out and, and see what they can do because it's in, you, you can't you can't stop it. Uh, I hope unless again if it rains like it has been this whole summer then you know, it'll be different, but, um, no, you can't, it'll run right through the green and then they'll be in the rough again. So they've got, it, yeah. like, that's the thing that I can't wait to see. It's just like the strategy behind it. And you know, the, the, even that short par three tip, the, uh, the one that they're going to now bring back because in know 88, they didn't have it in the open and in the, um, Ryder cup, they didn't have it, but it's a short 130 yard par oh, down three. the hill. The, the, yeah, down yeah, the yeah. hill. Yeah. And, um, the you know, one, that, is that the one you took the, the, took the video? Yeah, you took the video. Yeah, I stuffed it. You hit a your a, boy's house was to the left on that. That's your boy. Well, that's What's your our boy? boy. Our, you want to go out? <laughs> yeah, um, but that's like they, again. They they put the pin in certain places where if you go for it and you do it, you can make birdie. But if you don't, you're going to be in trouble. So uh, mm-hmm. it'll be really fun to watch. I think, and and obviously playing it so much throughout my life, it's um, it's even makes it that much more fun. Yeah, that's what's uh, your I favorite hole. Probably number three. Um, that you know that. Oh yeah, uh, with the narrow yeah. shoot. The I, narrow I always hill. talk about the main nope. course, and the, I guess when you think about the U.S. Open course, that you know they've got now that six hundred and twenty-five yard par five. That's it's an amazing hole. You go over mm-hmm. water through a chute, and you come to a hill. You go up dog leg left. It's it's you know it's hard as anything, but yeah. it's um it's an amazing hole. You, so you, there's, there's you a bunch duck of duck tuck number three. Oh, Where you man. put that? <laughs> How far left did you put that? <laughs> About a hundred absolute left. duck head. Yeah, I duck shot a seventy six that day or seventy seven. No, that you day, play, by you, the way, your so. back nine was. Yeah. We could have used that during the. We could have yeah. used that round during the. <laughs> Unbelievable! Yeah. Just never have been able to string it together with Dave in the four day. But so now with so Dave works the wheels up too. So you know. Private aviation. I he's mean, all, it's a well, huge. go back. He's also the club champion in pickleball. Oh, right? that's right. That's we didn't do. Uh, is, is it pickleball? Uh, pickleball. What is paddle. it? Paddle. paddle. What well, is, he's like a national champion in paddle ball. He's got no, a double I national championship. No, no, no. Is he a national, a national or are you club champion? champion? Club, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I mean, if you win, is, is how, it, how? Yeah, talk to us about this yeah. sport, please. What is it? How how big is this paddle? How big is the yeah. court? And is it a good workout? Is it fun? It's awesome. Well, it's a great workout because you play outdoors all winter. So mm-hmm. it's got it's paddle in the, tennis, in the cold? platform tennis. In the what? cold? In the cold? Cold, freezing cold, yeah. Okay. In the snow. So it's snowing. They've got heaters under the court. And basically, it's a much smaller tennis court. So you've got a net. You're playing always – people. some people play singles, but you always play doubles. And um, in the freezing cold, it's got the heaters that are melting the ice. If it's snowing or, you know, freezing rain, you're playing – and uh, so you're outside all winter doing this and it's um it's a blast and so i play for the the country club and we play you know we'll play wellesley we'll play you know all these different braeburn all these different clubs and um you know they have it in all different parts too so you can go and i, I used to play in some tournaments but no i like our, our head pro um is the he is the champion mm-hmm. i mean he won it again last year i think he's won it three or four times but um but I mean, he grew up playing with you know. He's a professional tennis player, and you know these guys they're at a whole another level. But, you just um, athlete people out there, kind of like it's back to his professional lacrosse days. He's going to other tournaments one day a week, and that's right. Yeah, and play. back to the and you, would you wear like headband can, and like I wristbands? I can win those games. I can't win golf. I can win. I know yeah. it's so frustrating. Are you taking lessons in paddle ball too? No, you just play. No, it's just like golf. It just plays. So. You just like out hustle people out there. Just like dive around the court. I can picture I, you being like the really, guy in dodgeball. I definitely I headband. The, my, my, yeah, headband, head, wristbands. My, my, my partner was the captain of the BC tennis team, so I, I picked a really good partner. Oh, so it's not singles. It's always doubles? Or no, is there singles? Always doubles. Always doubles. Always doubles. Always doubles. Oh, so who always doubles. So right. is, the cl- is the club pro a single or a double? Yeah, he's a he's, – he, well, oh, he's it's really interesting. Well, so you, he just said he always played doubles. <laughs> He only play doubles. So he plays double. When he goes on the national tournaments, he has a partner that he plays with, obviously, and they okay. go and they, they win. But, like, when he plays on – so we have a Monday night league. So every Monday night we play a different uh, country club. And um, so he'll play, and the, his partner, when he plays on Monday nights, which isn't as good as going and playing the national tournaments, 
his partner literally will stand out of the court and he'll just play and win. <laughs> so it's, it's a terrible assignment, but it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's amazing to watch. He's that good. So um, there is another much higher level, um, yeah. but, you know, the the folks that are members of these clubs and then there's the, all these tennis guys that are now gotten into it and their racket skills. I mean, the, the, to watch them play is – you can just search it, platform tennis or paddle tennis and watch some of these guys play. It's it's incredible. All right. It is a great workout. You pick the partners. We're doing this in the winter. You pick the partners. Ooh, I don't know if I you like can it, get man. us up there. We're going to film this. Max will do it. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, I love this idea. Me, we'll do it. Get us it. us four, it. and you get a fourth one, and we're going on yeah. opposite sides, and we're going to find out who, yeah. who wins. <laughs> No problem. No, pal. we're not even yeah. playing. No practice. You know anything before? This would be straight natural. You don't ability. know how good I am at racquetball, do you? I don't even care how no, good don't I, talk you about are at racquetball. Okay. 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 okay, I'll just show we, up. All right. We we are doing this. I want to play the sport. Okay. Well, can we I'm have in. another? Can we have the winners? Or you guys have this bet going? The mm-hmm. the loser is is swimming again in the winter. Sure. I'm in. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, Dave, you're my partner. No. no you can't, Dave, if, if give you me your won, club champ. Give me your club pro. I'll just stand outside the court. <laughs> yeah. If you if you won the four ball, you could take Dave. But you can't win anything I, with I him. So I let can't me. win with Dave. It's, it, well, I was going to say, when you're, when you're club pro, Dave, like when he tells the guy to go out and not play, that's kind of yeah. how you and I play yeah. golf, too, because one of us is always out of the hole somehow. I don't know it's how that works. You, you can wear, you can wear your three-inch inseam shorts. Oh, perfect. Yeah. With the wristbands. I'm perfect. we got the perfect. Perfect outfits for this. So I was going down the wheels up thing though because I wanted to know wheels up so big with like the masters and like you got so many golfers that use you know your service and everything. Do, are you doing anything with the U.S. Open too? Are you gonna have to do like a you're gonna have to be working we'll the I event mean, might, and then doing a wheels yeah. up thing at the same time? Double dipping up there at the country club next year. Yeah, I don't know. We haven't uh, made that decision yet. We've um, had a lot going on, so the the, uh, the events are going to start coming back on. I'm, I'm sure we'll do something. Mm-hmm. Um, so for sure at the U.S. Open, but not like the Masters. The Masters is a, is a big, big event for us. You guys, go, you so, guys have um, it at the Super Bowl too, right? Yeah, yeah. And oh, then Dave's, played, Saturday, Dave's played Augusta Saturday, too, by the way. Yeah. I forgot. Oh, you have? Yeah, Dave, Dave's played Augusta. Oh, so that, that's a good give us one. give us one Augusta hole that was unbelievable, Dave. Well, I mean, you had a great experience down there. I've heard the story. I chipped in oh. on seventeen. That was awesome. There you go. Yeah. So one uh, person that we know that's played Augusta. I don't. I don't know many other people that have. Do you? I, yeah. You know some? Yeah. Yeah, well, you're famous. Well, he knows Dan Manning. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I keep forgetting yeah. that Dan's famous. I know, um, a cu- I know a couple members. Oh, do you? Yeah. yeah. Wow, look at you. And look at this and guy. I st- that doesn't matter. I still doesn't don't matter. have an invite. Yeah. What the, what the hell does yeah. that do? Yeah, yeah I know a couple people. That, makes of it, yours. that just yeah. makes it worse, Dan. It really it does. It, it means it does. What, yeah. what the hell am I doing wrong? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, as so many people came up to Dave, though, at the, you know, because he knows he's with wheels up. A lot of these people know. And the cool part about that tournament, right, is that we're talking about it, Dave. You don't see these people for 361 days out of the year, a lot of them. Mm hmm. You know, like somebody, your guests at least, right? Like Dave's not going to go see somebody. Like he's down at that tournament. He plays, of course, a few other times than me during the year. But you see these people for four days. And it's like you're right back to like busting balls and like your buddies and it's, it's fun. But everybody was like, man, your industry must have taken a beating like with COVID. Dave's mm-hmm. like, nope, absolute opposite because all these people that were flying, you know, commercial, but we're always on the fringe about like joining yeah. up. But now with COVID, they all were, were like, well, we're going to do that. It's safe. So like their business was booming right now. And then they just went public, what, 10 days ago, two weeks ago? Three weeks ago, but I don't even know. It was like a month ago, yeah. yeah. But it's uh, you know, you, you're in a COVID fog. And, yeah. I am in a COVID yeah, what, fog. Five yeah, days ago, it was, ago, exciting, it was yeah. exciting, exciting to go through it, and um, now it's now you got to just keep. You know, nothing's really changed. It, you just got to keep performing even more, even more so now. But um, yep. yeah, no, it's it's been um, you know with a lot of acquisition in our space, and, and certainly a lot of uh, a lot more flights recently. Um, but it's uh, it's certainly been a fun ride and meeting amazing amazing people so and we're uh, ready for your pinehurst trip that yep. you know dan oh. and i if we could be the 28th 29th guys 30th guys i know you got a big one that matter. goes that goes on so we're ready for that when you're going to schedule that again is that oh. fall or spring the the, the big well, pinehurst trip that, that was uh that's spring Okay, so Spring. we'll be we'll be on deck. Just, for that, you guys right? just make sure you're in good graces when that come, comes. Oh yeah, around. We're, <laughs> we're gonna do a lot of work right now. We have a lot of work to do. Hey. You just you don't send any pictures. Yeah, it's as if you're not even there, right? That's you right. Just come That's home true. And yeah. Things are 
right back into it. You know, <laughs> I'm having such a great dinner and what a great day. And no, it's been awful. And um, we'll it's, it's raining. It's days. terrible. We haven't had any uh, food. I have food poisoning. <laughs> yeah, man, exactly. it's just bad. I can't even play. That's I'm right. so sunburned from the day before. It doesn't. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we know that what you're saying. Work. We know what you're saying. So, Dave. Yeah. Uh, well, um, Gatorade color. Favorite Gatorade color. We ask Yellow. everybody. Yellow. See. He likes urine. That's fine. Dave and I same Ugh. same boat there. That's why we're partners. So uh, national champion lacrosse player, below I, average golfer. I did I did look up and try and find some accolades <laughs> for him. Yeah, did I mean, you find I, I didn't find a lot. But well, I do, is still coming. There, there was one website that said he was one of the greatest University of Virginia lacrosse players ever. I had some random guy tell me that one time that I was on the phone with at Squawbacher that had like a Virginia thing in the background, and he like said that he's like, oh, he's the best best player ever. Yeah, I was like, hey, yeah, I know did something right now. He's, ever, now he's using all those yeah. tools and qualities that he learned with the sport and kicking ass at wheels up. And then I, I said, yeah, he's a great athlete. He's the greatest. Goals. I so said he's great. the greatest athlete ever. Have you ever seen the guy putt? <laughs> Putts like a jerk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. So. Yeah, exactly. Now, what? Now the thing that really matters, I can't do. Yeah, yeah. We'll get it, David. It's going to come. I can't us. wait it's for gonna paddle ball. It's going to come. Ball. Paddle ball is oh, next. We got to put that on the calendar. That will be hysterical. Yep, that we'll will be funny. We will get that done. Uh, yeah, like one of you, or actually both of you, we will because we'll know how funny this is going to. We will hit you with the ball. So many times. It's just going <laughs> to be good. hysterical. Am I going to break an ankle or blow no, a knee out an or Achilles. an Achilles? This or an Achilles. Achilles. What I do I Achilles have to Achilles do buster. to prepare for this? Because I'm <laughs> really worried about my lower half. Stretch. 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 Yep. Can we do this early yeah. enough in the season so we can recover it's from golf season? It's not even open right now. Bro. I know, I know, but can we do this right away so if one of us goes down, we can get back for golf season? Yeah, I don't, that's the, important. The Achilles may take yeah. a little bit longer than that, but <laughs> we'll try. Important. Oh that's man, a, this is gonna hurt. Great. This is gonna yeah. this is gonna hurt, and this is right. gonna be costly. So, so we'll set that up. We appreciate you coming on, Dave. You get the invite back next year for the four day. That's a that's a given. It's close. It's though. More Dave, about the, Dave, Dave, it's one more, more year and I'm up. One else. more year and I'm up. No, you're not. You can't get the green light for that. <laughs> I, you know what? You know what would be a great bit though. I think I think if you guys put a microphone on any golfer like of my caliber mm-hmm. or our caliber, and just have the microphone there to hear what we say to ourselves during the round. I mean, it is so oh, demotivating. It is unbelievable worst. how bad we are to our stuff. That's, you, that's, we that's need, that golf uh, we that's have actually to a real, that's a good idea. Yeah, we need more positive affirmations. Like there, yeah, no, no, I mean, no. But I, I completely agree with what he's saying. Oh, yeah. just, <laughs> when you're walking down the fairway by oh. yourself, how much are you cursing yeah. at yourself oh, or after the like putt? Tip, tip through, tip through a club. Oh, I launched <laughs> bounced them. once. It hit off the cart. <laughs> I'm sitting there laughing. Like behind, <laughs> he's pissed. You know, it takes like uh, you, you can't even like you're not even able to laugh at that point. And then like a couple minutes later, you're like, why did I just throw the club? It's like, yeah, it's I was so the close to launching you say to something. Yourself would yeah. be, would, that would be an amazing bit. I, I did like throw it. two clubs this week. That's kind of rare, but I did launch two this week. <laughs> Pretty good. Further, uh, further than the ball awesome. went. Yeah, a couple times. So it's, it makes me. It, uh, that's the thing. He's my partner. And I was so happy to see him throw the club. It like made me feel good. Yeah, yeah. that's how it works. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. trying. He, at least he's trying. Yeah. Go back but to go back to, to work now, thing. Dave. You got. I know you got four kids, seven kids running around downstairs right now. Don't you? Are they out of the house? Uh, next time they're, they're we gone. I don't know. They might. I probably lost them. I don't know. They're, they're somewhere. <laughs> next time we next time we talk, can we get a better setup though? <laughs> we, we, no, I like it. I like it. I like this. I figured that I we love, were going to I have, love looking at the bottom of your chin. I figure we're going to have screaming and shouting going on in this one. Oh, so. I'm so happy. They'll be home in a minute. It'll, it'll all go to hell. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, we'll talk to you soon, Dave. Thanks for coming on. I'll text you. Good to talk to you guys. All right. Later, See buddy. buddy. See you. See ya. Fast Our Prime is brought to you by Squad Locker. Squad Locker is your one-stop shop for custom team apparel delivered right to your front door. Learn more by visiting squadlocker.com.